Now, I don't know about you, but this is without doubt the most exciting time of the year for me. Yeah, it is nearly upon us. No, I don't mean Christmas. For me, I love January. Yeah, I said it, January. Christmas almost gets in the way because it's this time of year when most manufacturers release their new lineups and we have a sneak peek at what is to come. And I'll also reveal the product that is me, well, it's got me most excited and I'll reveal that very soon. So I know we've got new lineups coming from TaylorMade, Callaway, Ping, and even the sports superstore Decathlon have a big release in Jan 23. Now the Ping lineup is already out there and we know it's gonna be the G430. It's gonna include irons, fairways, hybrids, and the new flagship driver is already out there. And my good friend, Alex Etches, was particularly impressed with this driver. In fact, in a recent Instagram post, he said this. <laughs> that flight. <laughs> Not made it, but that's an absolute gem. 370, we'll call it. Should have really given it some, eh? What the hell? Now, as you can see, Alex is clearly impressed and uh, hitting it 370 yards. I won't be doing that in my review in January, but what intrigued me most was this comment from Johnny Wonder, who is the content creator from Callaway. Now the question is, what is Johnny referring to? In theory, the two year cycle for the Epic lineup is due, but my feeling is this could see the introduction of an all new lineup and rebrand with the discontinuation of the Epic model. Now, that's only my gut feeling, but clearly Callaway have something up their sleeve. So what about Decathlon? The Inesis 500 range was super impressive and it was an affordable price. And I recently visited the Inesis website to see the new 900 driver was landing in Jan 23. Now this is gonna be a price of circa 300 euros, which makes it really interesting. And of course, I will have this product for review in, I think it's Jan 10 when I release this one on the channel. Now I have to admit also that hybrid and fairway, fairway lineup looks pretty neat as well. So a really interesting lineup this year from Inesis. Now I've also got a feeling that we could see new lineups coming from Strixon and also Cobra, but at this moment I've no information to pass on whatsoever. But there is one lineup that has me extremely interested. The big question I have is how do TaylorMade follow up on the release of Stealth and the Carbonwood era? Questions are, are we gonna see Stealth 2? Will the face still be red on that driver? And will carbon wood feature in the hybrids and fairway woods? The 2022 Stealth lineup created an incredible buzz and talking points, and this year there is possibly even more anticipation and is certainly the product that has me most excited at this point at least. The big question is, what are you most looking forward to? Are you due a change of gear? And if so, what? Or are you from the anti-new product brigade and see this as another year of marketing hype? And as ever, either way, I'd be interested in your thoughts. But for me, I cannot stress enough that this year somehow feels just a little bit different. Certainly from the comments made on the Alex Etches post have uh, me really interested in what Callaway are up to. I'm already intrigued by the Ping G430 range, although I must admit, aesthetically, the crown looks really odd to me in terms of what they've done on that G430 driver. But according to Alex's comments on that post, it certainly seems to perform incredibly well. And I'd urge you, if you want a sneak peek before I get to my review, then go and check out, if you haven't already, that is, what Alex has had to say. But I know he's particularly interested in those two lineups. You then move on to that Decathlon product, which for me, at that price point, gives you a real option at the other end of the spectrum in terms of affordability. And you can see from what they've put together, it looks a really interesting product and backed up on what they did with the Inesis 500 range. I think that could be a real intriguing product. But like I said, for me, it's what Taylor May do. How do they follow up that incredible launch in terms of from a marketing perspective, at least anyway, of stealth that red face driver is now infamous as we all know it. What will they do in Jan 23 in their new lineup? And uh, I can assure you, 
all will be revealed just as soon as I get it in my mitts. And you've got such a huge amount of content coming through the whole of January, which will feature all that product and likely Strixon and Cobra as well. So make sure if you're not subscribed already, if you are interested in new products in 2023, make sure you hit that subscribe button, the notifications bell, and in this video in particular, let me know your thoughts. And as I've already asked, what are you looking forward to most in 2023? Short and sweet, that's as much as I know so far, and hopefully lots more to follow as soon as I get it. And I'll see you all very soon.